back with several players of the midget lacrosse team, as well as their head coach, Dusty Fromm. Dusty, Reese White, Carter, all at Mullet without the M, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So we got it right. Dusty, how did you able to put this team together? Is the team all complete? And where are we practicing? Yeah, so the team's been completely selected now. We finalized that about a week ago. Uh, currently practicing out of Notre Dame Marina in St. Boniface. So we're talking box lacrosse, Reese. Are you a forward, defenseman? What's your favorite position to play? Uh, I'm a mo more defenseman. And uh, I really like to play defense. And I'm probably better at defense than forward. So you're a little more focused on the ruggedness, the defense yeah. style, able to use your stick and your body more so as a scoring kind of guy. Yeah, I'm usually always standing in front of the net, blocking shots and uh, picking up loose balls. Picking up loose balls. Now, Carter, you like picking up loose balls and scoring, I hope, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're more of a forward kind of guy? Yeah, I am. I, uh, I more like to move the ball, pass it around. I, I'm more of an outside player, so I don't really run through unless I'm saying a pick for someone. So, yeah. Define what that means, an outside player versus an inside player to the people at home. Well, there's a guy like Reese who's like six feet, like 180, and there's little guys like me who are skinny and uh, get thrown around really easily. So I, I more move the ball around, use me as a swing so I can get other people open and give them the ball and then they score. And I like to shoot the ball too more of an outside shooter. Okay, so we got the outside shooter, we got the guy in the middle, Dusty. A good collection of players this year. Why is this team so excited because of how good they are this year for Nationals? I think you kind of just said it with a good collection of players here. We got the whole team's built that way. I mean, if you, if you have all offensive guys, you're going to get run through on the defensive side of the floor, right? So it's about trying to build a team that's, that's good on both sides of the floor, that are responsible bringing the ball up, that are tenacious and rugged as far as the defensive side of the play goes and get, keeping people to the outside and getting the loose balls. Now, Reese, how many years have you played lacrosse and do you play other sports on top of lacrosse? Um, I've played lacrosse for about, I don't know, maybe 10 years or nine years. And I play hockey, high school hockey, and then I play high school basketball as well. So you got the size and the stature to play all three, of course. What's your favorite sport and why? I probably like lacrosse because it's probably the fastest sport, like on two feet, and just the roughness of the sport altogether it just makes it the best sport, in my opinion. Carter, for yourself, how many years have you played lacrosse, and uh, what other sports do you play outside of it? Uh, I've played lacrosse since I was six, so nine years now. And uh, I play hockey and, yeah, just hockey and lacrosse. I'm, I'm a goalie in hockey, actually. So, so you're a goalie in hockey, yeah. but you score in lacrosse. Yeah. Is it because you don't want to buy two sets of goalie <laughs> gear? <laughs> well, I've always been a goalie since I was six, and, you know, I just liked it watching it in hockey, like on TV and stuff. So I've always been one that interests me, yeah. Okay. So, Dusty, I'm going to ask you as the coach, what do these players now do to prepare to get into nationals that are in the middle of August, I believe, correct? Yeah, so the nationals are the third week of August this year. Um, a lot of it, to be honest, is stuff that they have to do on their own time, conditioning and all that kind of stuff. We touch on that in practice, but practice time, we like to devote that more to developing systems, building chemistry, and making sure that, uh, that when we're in a game situation, it's not something they need to think about, it's just second nature. Are there any exhibition games or game type settings set up that the public can, can watch this team play? Yeah, actually, it's actually pretty exciting. We just ended up scheduling it this week. We have uh, Team Saskatchewan coming to Winnipeg for the weekend of August 10th. They're going to be bringing their, their Pee Wee, Bantam, and Midget age groups for the box side and their U15 and U18 for the, for the field side to do a little mini exhibition weekend, kind of a tune-up the week before. Exactly. So a tune-up the week before August the 10th. Uh, times and place to be determined, I'm assuming, or Notre Dame Arena for box? Um, I'd, I'd imagine we're probably going to go to Notre Dame. It's, it's, they've done a good job of accommodating us in the past. But, uh, yeah, t time and place still to be determined. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much for joining me on the show. Real quick, I have the head coach, Dusty Fromm, Reese White, the man in the middle, and Carter Allett, without the M. <laughs> thank you for joining me, boys. We'll be right back with some senior and some junior baseball scores. And my boy James from Baseball Manitoba, brought to you by Collins down to Pilot Mountain. We'll be right back after this.